Hello and welcome to the channel. I normally don't talk about my personal life, but it's been almost a year since I posted a video. So I'm going to spend a few minutes telling you what's been going on in my life. I'll also tell you about a few videos that I'm going to post in the next few weeks. And let's have a discussion on where the channel is going. All right, so let's get started. Over the past year and a half, most of my time has been spent with my parents. When I moved down here, uh, they were still living on the family farm. They'd been there for 70 years. And everything on the surface looked good. But as I spent more time with them, I realized that they had become very reclusive uh, they weren't willing to talk to myself or my siblings about their affairs, their finances, or anything. And it took me a while to uh, work through that and get them to trust me so I could uh, help them. I found out that they really weren't taking care of themselves. They weren't going to the doctor as they should have been. Um, they weren't eating very well and uh, that they had burnt through their savings. Uh, they've been retired for 30 years, but they'd been, they'd burnt through their savings. So they were just living on their uh, social security checks. I found out that they had done no estate planning. Uh, their will was 40 years old. And if something happened to one of them, the state would probably just take all their assets. In addition, uh, my father was getting almost a hundred pieces of junk mail a day. P um, sweepstakes, get rich schemes, scams, polit politicians looking for money, you name it. And to make matters worse, he was of a mind where he thought he had to open every single one of those letters every day, answer them, and send them money. So what little money they did have was going right out the, right down the drain with all that stuff. So that said, we also realized that uh, mom had uh, dementia and Alzheimer's and it was progressively getting worse. Um, Mid-February of this year, um, she suffered a brain bleed, ended up in the hospital, uh, intensive care, uh, then into a nursing home and she passed away in March. 91 years old. We'll miss her. Since then, my father is doing well. Uh, he's 96 years old. He refuses to leave the farm. He's still living out there. He still has his driver's license. And I expect him to keep that probably for a couple more years. Uh, he's taking care of his health. He's eating well, as long as you can microwave it. <laughs> and... Uh, just, just in general, he's, he's doing good. He still mows about two acres a week with the zero turn, with the Aaron zero turn. Uh, the old car that he had was junk. Um, there was more wrong with it than what it was worth fixing up. So I went ahead and uh, bought that Grand Cherokee in that picture there, and I'm letting him use the van. Uh, he likes vans. He drives them well. I'm still spending four or five days a week going out to see him. Uh, he lives about 15 miles away from where I live, so it does take a little time. Check up on him, listen to the stories. At that age, uh, we all have lots of stories to tell. So, all right. Moving on. Willow is doing well. She just turned 17 and just as active as she has been for the last five years. So 
don't be surprised if you see her popping in and out of videos as we're going through this winter. So what else have I been up to? Well, for the last year and a half, I've been going through a divorce. That's finally all taken care of, so that's a thing of the past. Uh, I was having some physical problems. Uh, my A1C was up to 12%, so since February of this year, I've lost 50 pounds, and I've dropped my A1C down 5%. So working on another 50. Uh, feel a lot better, have a lot more energy, uh, ready to go out and move some snow this winter, this year. I have taken on managing my sister and brother-in-law's low-rent, non-subsidized rentals. Uh, my brother-in-law works full-time, he's still driving semi, and it's just too much for my sister, so... Low rent housing is challenging. About 80% of the time when the renters leave, uh, they've left big messes and lot, many times they've trashed the place. Uh, here's an example of uh, they painted the walls dark purple and we had to go in and clean it out and repaint a lot of the stuff, fix, a, fix doors, trim, all that type of stuff. So. That keeps me busy periodically. My granddaughter is now six years old, first grade. Uh, she's very active in soccer and dance. So they live 130 miles away, So, but I try and get out there as often as I can to watch her and watch her grow. My daughter and son-in-law bought a building this summer uh, to house their businesses. I spent about three weeks out there remodeling, moving walls, doing electrical work so it fits their needs. Nice building. You don't know it but I'm a fairly good cook. I get a lot of requests for my breads and my pies. Uh, I bought a pellet grill this year and I have Really had fun with that. Uh, ribs, brisket. Uh, I, in fact, I like it so well, I went and bought a smoker now. And uh, my pulled pork uh, is turning out well enough that people are asking me to cook it for them. I bought a project mower. This is a 2003 New Holland um, diesel, automatic four-wheel drive, six-foot deck. And it'll take me about a year to get this ready to go, and I'll probably resell it again once I get it in, back in good shape. So I like doing stuff like that. Uh, you haven't seen much of it in the past, but now that I'm a bachelor, I can do stuff like that. Someone was cleaning out their back storage shed and uh, they ended up giving me this trailer and mower uh, since they know I like mowers. The mower was junk we just went ahead and scrapped it but the trailer uh, it's a decent little trailer so I'm in the process of fixing that up. Um, I've got it all set up all I have to do is all I have to do left is paint it so it'll be a nice little utility trailer to have around. Last year, I moved to the house next door and it came with a garage. This is what the garage looked like the week after I moved in. Um, I barely had enough room for one zero turn in the tractor. So, it's taken me a while to get rid of all the junk that was in there. And here's what it looks like today. A lot cleaner. And I'll talk about the dirt on the floor in a minute. This happened. The door that was in the garage was just horrible and one day I went to open it and it just literally fell apart. With the supply chain problems and everybody needing help, it took me two weeks to find a door and 
another three weeks to get it installed. At the time, I wasn't feeling well enough to do it myself, so I had to have somebody do it. But uh, those mowers end up sitting in there for almost two weeks before I could uh, get them out because that door is just a disaster. This also happened. Uh, I was using my miter saw. I turned my miter saw off, raised the blade, but I was too fast at sticking my hand to move the piece of wood that I cut and so I ended up with 12 stitches. No um, nerve damage or tendon damage so I got really really lucky. Just a reminder be safe pay attention to what you're doing. This happened about a month ago four inches of rain in less than an hour. Uh, no, it's not climate change. Uh, this area of the country, we do get some heavy rains once in a while. And typically once a year, or once every two years, we'll get four, six, eight, ten inches all at once. So just got to deal with it. Um, as you can see, I ended up with about three to four inches of water in my garage. And since it's all rainwater runoff, uh, it carried a lot of silt into the into my garage so I knew that that was a problem but still it's a mess you got to clean up <clears throat> okay let's talk about mowers and snow blowers we actually have two New Holland tractors the one that you see in my garage is a four-wheel drive industrial model with a loader on it. This one here in the picture is a TC-29D. It does have a loader and a deck. Uh, it's a really fun tractor to drive because it's got the automatic four-wheel drive and the super steer on it. I'm thinking about doing a video about just how well this uh, compact tractor works as a lawnmower, uh, but this gal has given me all kinds of problems over the last year. Come to find out that for the last 20 years, my dad has done no maintenance to it at all. So uh, when I started using it, it had everything leaked on it. The engine oil leaked, the hydraulic fluid leaked, the power steering leaked. Uh, the transmission fluid hadn't been changed in over a thousand hours. Uh, I ended up uh, I ended up having to replace the radiator on it, put new rear tires on it, fix all the oil leaks, change all the oils, which is close to eight hundred dollars for oil and filters. Uh, and even worse, the deck was shot. By shot, I mean that the bearings had not been greased regularly, so the spindles were just noisy and rattled and needed to be replaced. Uh, the blades had, were worn way down. Um, there was pieces missing on the deck, so on and so forth. I did get lucky, and I ended up finding another deck for it. Uh, the deck probably had... The deck that I found probably has less than 200, 200 hours runtime on it. This one had over 2,500 hours runtime. So uh, I got that problem fixed. So as of now, the machine works good. The Aaron's that you see there, that's an Icon XD. Uh, Aaron's, uh, let me use that for a review here. Um, before the pandemic started. Uh, it's now got 180 hours on it and it's just been running like a top. Uh, that's the mower that uh, my father uses all the time to mow about two acres of the farm there. Uh, the boomer, the, uh, the tractor, uh, I use that to mow the rest of the property. So where are we headed from here? <clears throat> I do want to do another review on the uh, errands. Um, I owe 
ox cart I review on the, the one in the picture here. Um, I've had it for a year, but I've just been too busy to get it done. Um, I haven't even put anything in it, but boy, I really like this uh, ox cart. So you'll see a review coming. Uh, just to let you know, the influencer network where uh, the manufacturers were handing out uh, equipment to review and let people use, uh, that pretty much disappeared during the pandemic. Uh, it's starting to come back very slowly like right now, uh, but don't expect me to have a lot of new equipment to review this winter yet. Uh, I do have one Toro snowblower uh, poss and possibly three or four other snowblowers coming from other manufacturers. Um, Aaron has told me that they would like to start their influencer program up again, but it's going to be a while. And pretty much everybody else is saying that too. <clears throat> They're just... Uh, there are just too many supply chain problems yet. Uh, they have problems getting the product, getting the materials to make the products. They have problems with the getting enough people to assemble the products, uh, let alone the distribution network is not where it needs to be either. So um, you're not going to see a lot of uh, influencer videos from anybody this year. Uh, we're just go all going to have to figure out different ways to help you out. So feel free to let me know uh, what you'd like me to talk about. And, uh, and I'll put another video together here shortly telling you what people have told me so far, what, they, what you'd like to see. I will be going down to Louisville to the Big Lawn and Garden Show next month. Um, there are going to be some big announcements from... Uh, Steel from Gravely, DeWalt, and I'm sure many others. So if there is any particular brand that you would like me to take a close look at, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Okay, well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for listening to 17 minutes of me telling you what I'm up to, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.